Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day in the life. We are outside taking care of the chickens. A lot has happened in the last 48 hours, and I'm questioning my existence online. I feel like we all are doing that, but I look to this page to just be authentically myself, and yeah, I'm going to bring you on a real day in the life because I've just been in a funk lately on social media. I, My goal is to share positivity but i've got some negative nancy's following me and yeah that works and the way that people are saying things just makes me question how they were raised i find it extremely rude the way i've been talking to and i don't know i i don't know if i'm just three I don't know if I'm being backed into a corner, but I'm just not going to take it anymore. So I've had a very strange morning of people just speaking absolutely terrible to me and I, I'm i not handling it well, I feel like. I'm just getting even angrier, which I don't want to happen. I'm the opposite of that is what I need right now. No, that's that's enough. So I have the kids out here with me and I'm just gonna soak in some serotonin with these birds. Amelia is sleeping. My husband's schedule has flip-flopped once again. So we're uh, dealing with that little change up, um, but that's what happens. So mm -hmm. sorry for the long-winded intro. We are gonna get going here. Delilah wanted to show you her cheese. But yes, let's get our day started and hope for some more positive vibes because that's all we're doing in the new year, some positivity. Welcome if you're new. My name is Tori. I do motherhood videos and I try and teach you different things about our life here in Northern Colorado, soon to be Pennsylvania. We are headed back home just to be with our family, buy some land and live our best simple life. So if you like that kind of thing, again, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and trying to get feed in here is a little bit dusty. But yes, if you want to become part of our little YouTube family here, we would love to have you. Let's get our day started. It's actually not that cold, just the wind is like super chilly. The birds need some more water. I get them fresh water every day. Do they prefer mud water? Yeah, but that's okay. I'm still gonna get them fresh water every day. I always put a little teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in there. It's just good for their bellies. The ducks love it. And uh, yeah, I even put it in the duck's pond just because they drink from the mud water, like I said. So as you can see, we are still working on painting the house, but we've had these like super windy days. I don't want my husband up on the ladder because I don't know, it'd be terrible if he fell. But here we go. Some fresh water for these birds. I have two barefoot children out here. Thank goodness. Off the tiki torch. No, Wilder. Hey, that's not safe. Why? Because. What will happen? You could fall right off. No, wait. It's, uh, I didn't. Honey, it's a piece of rebar. You could just fall off of there. And it's probably old. This is my weekly check on Luna because her feet are so bad, huh? Are you okay? She has some bumble foot and some arthritis in her foot, so she doesn't like us picking her up, but I gotta check on the feet to see if we need to do a soak or not, huh? So yeah, her feet are looking good because it hasn't been that cold, but once it gets cold, we like to put a little bit of lotion on there. I just do a little DIY with some coconut oil and she seems to be okay, but see, you're okay. You're all right. You're all right. I know. You say hi. You say hi. I've known you for so long. You're just so scared of me, huh? Woo! Good morning, Dixie. Good morning, Daisy. Hi, pretty girl. Hi. What's the commotion? I had to pick her up. I had to check on her. Sorry. My goodness. My goodness, Wednesday's mad. Don't pick up my girl. <laughs> Chickens are looking good, almost fully feathered. They're doing good. Yeah, aren't they? Hey, buddy. All right, we're gonna head in, make some breakfast. All right, I'm so hungry. I'll show you what I've been making because it is phenomenal. Get you locked in here. I actually had a few hawk sightings up in this tree. 
So, I don't know. Wednesday's really good with letting me know and really good at protecting the flock. Like, they all listen to her, chickens included. So, or, they all listen to him, chickens included. So, oh, look at Dolly. Dolly and Loretta being bullies. Their feathers are coming back on their feet, though. So, that's good. Good sign of winter. But, yeah, a um, lot of hawks up there. And then we had a baby hawk up here on this dead tree. And it must have got to something because I looked in that garden box over there with the horseshoe. There's a bunch of feathers in there, like a lot. Not not a good amount of uh, the horseshoe, honey. Not a good amount. So something must have been offed, well, we shall say, I right? Think the baby hawk to eat something. Yeah, maybe. They, yeah. Do you want to go make some breakfast? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Slippers back on. I love these like low rider Uggs. I really love Uggs. I know it's a acquired fashionable choice, but I really enjoy them. I'm a millennial, so they came out when we were in high school, but I like the shorter ones a lot more than the tall. Delilah's riding her scooter inside, aren't you? My goodness. It's an outside toy. It is an outside toy. Hmm, that's odd. Here she goes. She says she's riding really gentle, so she is allowed to. All right, let's get some breakfast started. I will probably just show you the final plate because you know how to make eggs, but this has been a go-to, and I've just been feeling great every morning eating all of this. Okay, so here's the lineup. I usually do two eggs in a lot of grass-fed butter. I do some good culture cottage cheese for some extra protein, and I do some sauerkraut for a little bit of gut health. Everybody likes this except for sauerkraut. That's my I thing. I don't like this. Yes, thank you for telling us. I mean, this is my, um, my food bowl. Oh, okay, some directions there. Sometimes we do some meat, but honestly, it's a little bit filling having all this, and then I just do a slice of toast for them with some butter. Wilder likes it plain, and I skip the toast in the morning. I'm not trying to go completely gluten-free, but I'm reducing my gluten intake, so that has just been a game changer in the morning, and then I have my little, this is sauerkraut, cabbage. Then I have my little adrenal cocktail, so just orange juice, coconut water, and salt. You need uh, potassium to absorb that salt correctly. So yeah, that is what I do. And then I move on to my happy juice, which I will show you here in a second. Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure juice and organic pita chips and corn dip for lunch i will probably have something else but this is what i'm eating right now the kids are playing outside husband huh honey okay husband's about to go to work and we are going to take a little bit of a car ride here soon but this is my corn dip it's so so good if you want the recipe let me know and i will give it to you it's not a secret but it's delicious Yes, I think I'm going to go with the air dried look today. I got this big clip, but my whole hair doesn't fit in there, which is awesome. It just makes me think that the beef liver is really working and the happy just 
is clear my skin. I just, wow, you know, you're probably annoyed with me talking about it. So sorry, I'll try and leave it out. But we are just taking it easy today. Like I said, it was a strange last couple days and yeah, we're just trying to take it easy, lay low. I'm trying to stay off my phone as much as possible. So it's up there on the charger. And I think that's really what's going to get me through this little hump, but that's what I get for posting, I guess, like controversial things. I'm not trying to, but that's what happens. If anything, I would like for this channel to kind of pop off because I love motherhood and yeah, I love sharing about it. So we are going to send my husband off. Eating a pita. You need to try to find your bag and piece yeah. Stop Where is it, buddy? K E Y. I need Mom's so cool. She's so cool. Now, Dad, you say I love you. Mom, um, Dad, you say I love you. Say bye, Daddy. We love you. Love your face. Tell Daddy to be safe. I'm just finishing this up, and then the kids are going to get their shoes on. They promise. So I'm going to get in the car and get going in this windstorm, huh, girls? Oh, those shoes don't fit, Louie. We got a question about that. Why we call Delilah Louie? Because uh, we used to sing to her, skip to my Lou, my darling, all the time to get her to go to sleep. So it just kind of stuck. So that's why we call Delilah Louie. But yeah, she's a little sweetie. So I think it's a cute name for her. Right, honey? Yeah. Still not going to fit. All right. I'm going to finish this and then I will see you on the road. Come here. Okay. Louie, come here. Okay, let's Oh, watch your watch sale. Socks and shoes, please. I'm cooking over there uh, because I finished my lunch. Yep, we can have a snowman cookie. But, um, Put them over here. How did you? Here, come here. How did you? I don't know. I didn't know we had three of the same. <laughs> That's crazy. What's, That's crazy. What's, Look, she has three of the same socks. That's crazy stuff. <laughs> Get a toe in there. Get a big purple toe in there. I'm not purple. That's what you painted your toenails, didn't you? Happy New Year. New Year's, what are we saying? Happy New Year. Oh, uh, is it happy? And there's fireworks. Okay, we're off. We decided that we are going to go to Hi. go on a little scooter ride yeah, to get to some play. energy. Yeah, Maybe we'll oh, we'll see the lake and the water. It's going to be real nice, yeah, right? I don't see the waterfalls. Yeah, well. Uh, we don't want, I don't want to go to the coffee shop first. I'm um, 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 second to go first too. Yeah, nice. but it's a beautiful day. It's still like super windy. That's my only concern, especially next to the water. But I think it will be okay. Millie can sleep in the wrap and uh, the kids can use their scooters. What's great about the scooters is they fit in the car. Uh, last time we only had Wilder's bicycle and Delilah wasn't able to ride, so she'd have to ride in the stroller, which, oh, look, a fire truck. Oh my goodness, two fire trucks. Look, that's, why? That's an ambulance and a Oh, sorry, it's an ambulance and a fire truck. Yeah, bye, bye. hello. So moral of that story, the uh, stroller and the bikes didn't fit in the car at the same time, so the scooters are super compact. I think we're gonna yeah, have- Yeah, and my big, my, my big, we were big, 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 I think we're gonna have a good time. There is a rocky part of the trail, so I think if we cut it, we'll be okay. I'm trying to not think of the logistics and we'll just, you know, figure it out when we get there. That's how my brain uh, thrives, when we just jump into it and figure it out along the way. So I'm excited to show you the beautiful day that we're having here in Colorado, trying to soak up those mountains before we move. Pennsylvania has uh, hills and some mountains, but not as big as the Rockies, huh, y'all? Yeah. All right, so here we go. Sis. Why we can't do it like this? You can do it whatever foot feels good for you.
Yep. Down the hill we go. go. Okay. She didn't have milk, so I'm gonna feed her. The kids are gonna enjoy their cookie, and we are gonna head back, right, y'all? Yeah. Okay, we just got home. The girls are up from their nap and we're gonna make, can you say hi? Hello, who's that beautiful baby? Who's that girl? Oh. We are gonna make some chicken parm and I think I'm gonna put it over these gluten-free cheese raviolis. So it's really easy. It's just all of my favorite things put in to one dish. So I'm gonna show you how to make it and just keep this series going where I give you a recipe because that's really what I'm doing all day anyways is cooking, cleaning, being a mom. So I hope this is relatable and uh, let's get into this recipe. It's gonna be delish, right? Right? Is it gonna be yummy? Oh, shh, camera shy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna film this a little haphazardly, but I don't bread my chicken parm, mainly because my husband doesn't like breaded chicken, but I mean, I like breaded chicken. I'm just not doing it for this recipe. So that was onion powder, a little bit of garlic salt. What's garlic salt? Some deliciousness. A little bit of ground ground black pepper. We have some avocado oil in there. I'm not gonna add any extra salt, excuse me, buddy. But I am gonna add a little bit of oregano. What's and then we're gonna cook know? that at four, it's an herb. Um, we're gonna cook that at 400 for around, I'd say 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna add some sauce and cheese and I think I'll do the ravioli separately. Okay, so we have a mess happening right now, but I wanted to show you how I put this together. We have raviolis and a little bit of oil on the bottom there so it doesn't stick. And I just do 10 because I know it fits in the pan, but do whatever you want there. And then I do chicken. So I do two chicken per two raviolis. And these are the capellos, I believe is how you say it, the gluten-free ravioli. So they're a little bit on the bigger side, but they have really clean ingredients and they're just amazing. So I cooked the chicken to about its temperature, honestly, but you could probably cook it halfway and be fine and then your toppings here I do the Rayos Rouse marinara I think it is Rayos honestly people always correct me uh Rayos marinara or you could do a really delicious Alfredo sauce they also make one and sometimes I put Cajun seasoning in the Alfredo sauce and then a little bit of like smoked sausage and make that that's really good but today we are going to do some sort of Italian dish. So I have the Rayos here and then I have some Monterey Jack. You could use mozzarella though. And all you do is layer that on top and then bake it until it gets bubbly and brown and it's amazing and the kids really like it. So very clean ingredients and uh, yeah, really delicious. So let me do the rest here. Okay, so this is the best the tripod is gonna get right now, but I just do the sauce on top. And this is that one that I got on accident, the uh, sensitive marinara, so it doesn't have, no it has no onions or garlic in it. So that will be good for some of you that have those allergies, where's my spoon? And then I just take it and I put the sauce on top here. What are you doing, you two? I have Delilah here with me, but Amelia and Wilder are getting into trouble. Why? <laughs> he likes to make her laugh. He's a funny brother, isn't he? So he can be a stinker sometimes. I will leave some cheese for you. I have my little mouse here eating all this cheese. I guess you can't see my face. Sorry. Okay. And then we're going to put some cheese on top. Right? Have a little bit of I cheese will save here. you some cheese, girlfriend, okay? Can I put a lot of cheese? I will not, so you can eat it all, okay? I'm just gonna get this last piece. All right, and then again, yeah, it bakes at like 400 for 
20, 25 minutes, depends, but comes out really amazing. I'll show you what I'm serving it with. Okay, so while the chicken cooks, I'm gonna curl my hair and kind of chit chat with you. But moral of the story, I feel like going outside is just amazing medicine. I talk about it all the time, but I already feel clarity. I don't feel so negative like I feel. Um, I think Happy Juice has a lot to do with that, but just going outside and just allowing myself to be away from my device and in the sun with the kids, it just, you know, I mean, there's still stressors with, with that, you know, it wasn't like a perfect walk we had, but it was good. And I just feel like that's, I don't know, something I'm lacking. I guess I'm just too wrapped up in my phone, but I don't want to make an excuse for myself that it's my job. So that's how I'm bringing in income. So when people are like, oh, take a break, blah, 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 I can't because that is how I'm bringing a very small income to my family. But, um, you know, I'm grateful for all of you. So I'm not complaining. I'm just like stuck in that weird place. But I am using the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer by Eva NYC. I've had this for a while. It's just um, heat protectant spray. I don't spray it directly on my hair because that's all you need. Just like a tiny little bit. And even that is just going to be a lot. And because I let it air dry, I just feel comfortable curling it on a low heat. Okay, I had an upset child, but I'm going to curl and chat with you. I don't know, just a lot that's been on my mind. So you know that I like to talk to all of you because honestly, it. I guess, I don't know. I think it started with the shutdowns, but I just didn't really have a lot of people to talk to. So I turned to YouTube and I just started figuring out how to grow on YouTube. So there's a lot of new people, but I was struggling there for a little bit. And then I had babies. It completely messed with me. Um, it's a beautiful experience, but some women just mentally, I guess, I don't know, I guess have a hard time. But uh, when I changed my mindset, that's when things started getting better, looking at each uh, issue I had, you know, like the house was a mess, but hey, I'm lucky that I have a home that my kids are making memories in. Like that's a simple swap, but when you're looking at a negative, just try and see every single positive and just get that negative out of your mind. And I guess that was the goal today, just to get outside, get that negative out of your mind. Um, but I kind of started saying it this morning and that was, you know, people always say, well, you put your life out there, you put your life on the internet, you deserve criticism. And I will say, I'm a very empathetic person for those of you that don't know me. And um, a lot of people say, ignore the haters. And I totally agree with that. But at the same time, I, I shouldn't have to put up with that. There's just absolutely no accountability when it comes to the internet. I don't know what a lot of you look like. I don't know what any of you sound like sound like with the exception of like two or three of you and I just feel sometimes connected with a lot of you but then there are people that just do little drive-by comments and there's again no accountability those are the people that can like move on with their day and uh, say something absolutely terrible to somebody and then move on with their day I'm not like that I would be thinking about it for weeks probably years if I said something mean to someone I still I still think about things because you know I I will say I had a hard time in high school but I wasn't the nicest girl in high school I was probably pretty mean to some people um you know people are really terrible to me but no one's perfect and I still think about some moments from high school and you know it's like 15 years later 18 years later and I just I feel I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm just having a hard time with the rudeness on the internet. And I've said it before, but it all comes back to like, who the heck raised you? Or were you not raised? Did you just like fend for yourself? And that's why you are the way that you are. But I just, the, the wording on some comments, you know, some people are saying, it, some people have said to me that I'm, I'm taking it personally. I'm taking it the wrong way and that's my fault and I shouldn't do that but at the same time do I deserve like scrutiny do I deserve to be somebody's I guess I don't know like vice to be mean to because they didn't have somebody in their life to be mean to that day I'll be right back okay everyone's okay uh, I forgot to say I hold these curls on for 
20 or 25 seconds and that's why they kind of get that's how they get a uniformed uh curl i had a question about that but yeah it's nothing fancy i got just like an amazon curler probably six years ago and that's what i do but like i was saying am i i shouldn't be someone's vice to be mean to and i I don't like confrontation at all and I have seen in my friendships, not recently, but past friendships that I tend to gravitate towards um, not bullies, but just a strong personality and I don't necessarily go along with what they say, but I don't uh, fight back if there was a criticism and I think that was a flaw of mine. I am thankful that I no longer choose that type of personality but you know I still have people in my life that I'm close with that are like that and uh you know I've learned to distance myself from them but on the internet you can't do that because there's all walks of life and that's what makes us a great society but at the same time um you know there's people that are more sensitive than others and I know a lot of you can you know relate to that so I guess I'm stuck in this rut and I got the question last week like what are you planning to do first of all the, the I got a comment saying get a real job and my comment back to that was I had a real job <laughs> and uh you know I had my master's I did all the right things they told me to do as a millennial and you know I'm not saying I got garbage in return but I just wasn't thriving that way and not a lot of people are and then you know, the internet came along and it gave the opportunity for everybody, but stay at home moms to be able to make an income on their own hours because there are plenty of jobs out there that say, this is perfect for a stay at home mom. When in reality, I've tried all of them. I can make a video about all the ones that work and all the ones that don't. And guess what? There's not a lot that work because my main priority are my children and then a house I guess keeper after that a keeper of the home but you know all of those kind of things go hand in hand and I don't know when people say that get a real job like yeah I had one and I wanted to have children so in this day and age I couldn't keep a job because we can't afford daycare and we you know have finally we didn't start out parenting like this but you know I don't I didn't like sending my kids to daycare I wanted to teach them about life I wanted to be around them and someone I don't know some people may think that's selfish but that's they're my children I I made them so it's really important for me to be around them I want to show them love and of course I think it's important to learn different life, life lessons from other adults, but I feel like we can do that in a more family-oriented way. So I'm just, hold on. So yes, and the last thing I wanted to say was uh, someone asked if I would be doing this in Pennsylvania, if I'm going to be a content creator in Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, if it gets to the point where I can post just like this and kind of chat about homesteading and homeschooling and things that I actually like instead of uh, quote unquote conspiracy theories because I don't want to call them that but that's what people call them um I guess political things I I don't I don't like chatting about that but hey that's what's popular on my page and that's what's getting me paid and hear it all the time you know find something you love and then you'll never work a day in your life and that's easier said than done you know so I'm so happy I started this channel because I have the ability to chat about these kinds of things with a lot of you that have been following me for a while and you may have seen that shift with me where I I do care what people think but I'm at the point where I'm sharing things that I'm sharing political things you know and there was a solid probably 10 years there where I I didn't want to do that because people are cruel people are very cruel when you um, share your political beliefs and unfortunately a lot of what I talk about on the other channel is political now and I think that's what the hardest thing has been for me to grasp because at the end of the day I could care less what you believe I'm still going to treat you like a human being I'm still going to treat you with respect um, and I've just been having a really hard time with that so I don't know I, I don't know what I'm going to do when I go back home if this channel blossoms into something that I can 
make work, then like I was saying, I could pick up photography again. I would absolutely love that. My family, uh, I come from a family of photographers, so that would work out for me. We have a studio back home. I would love to do something like that. Um, I also wouldn't mind being a teacher again, but in a smaller setting. I wouldn't mind being a para in a elementary classroom, specifically kindergarten. Love kinders, they're hilarious. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do. I'd love to do something with the land. You all know that's my dream, to find a home with land and then do things for every season. So not necessarily a Christmas tree farm, but maybe like a winter wonderland. We could do hot cocoa and we could do sleigh rides with Santa and just, I don't know, open it up on weekends and have a good time and have animals. And then in the spring we could do some garden starts and I don't know, lilies for Easter or something. In the summer, of course, a farmer's market, and then in the fall, a pumpkin patch. But yeah, that has always been my dream. So if we could make that work, that would be phenomenal. But I don't know if we can. And you all know that I don't necessarily want my husband in law enforcement. Uh, you know, I, I know it doesn't make him ecstatic. He, he does like what he does, but I just see the world going negatively with law enforcement unfortunately because the younger generations are just not thinking for themselves they really aren't sadly uh, i'm not going to speak for all of them i know there are some good ones out there but <sighs> moral of the story i was having a hard time and it took me what of five minutes to go outside with my kids and sunshine to get that moment of clarity to get on here and even talk about it because I watch my videos back I'm not gonna lie I try and check for errors but you know it's like a little pep talk at the end so well it may just be me in my bathroom talking to you right now it helps more than you know so I appreciate our little chit chats I appreciate you all being here um but yeah I don't know what the future holds of course um if we knew then be a different life but people moral of the story need to be nicer need to choose their wording in a better way because it's just I mean I saw it as a teacher too I saw it younger and younger children just being so cruel because they hear it from their adults and then that goes on to other children thinking that it's okay to talk like that just the lack of respect for people and I'm not saying hey feel bad for us empaths but I don't know. I think we could all stand being a little nicer. That way we could have a more positive experience no matter what's going on in the world because things are scary out there right now. But yes, I think that's it with the curls. Sometimes I miss a curl back there. I let them cool and then I just tease them out. I will show you how I do that in like an hour or two. But let's see the back. I always mess that up. I don't know. I mess up this part here. But I don't know. I bet you the raviolis are ready. So let me show you what's going on there. And I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep Millie not so messy because we already took a bath today. I don't mind doing it twice, but it does take a little bit of time. So let me get you turned around and show you some dinner. Okay. The kids are over here watching the Santa Claus, but this is what the raviolis look like. It is going to be delicious. We're going to have some blueberries and just have a nice little family dinner. And then I will catch up with you here in a bit. Okay, while the kids are snacking, I did forget to mention parts of the dream, so I will wrap it up after this, but my best friend and I, years back, wanted to open up a therapeutic writing center for children with autism or children with disabilities. There's already one in my town, but I thought, I don't know, we could have another one, and it doesn't necessarily have to be with horses. It can just be with animals, so that's another big leap into the land. You definitely have to have different zonings. Um, you need certifications. You need other teachers, other people that want uh, to work with these children in a positive way. So that's another part of things. I do feel fulfilled in my life right now. I felt uh, more fulfilled as a teacher. I felt like I was uh, contributing more to society, but um, 
you know, I'm taking a pause on that now and I always question myself. I don't know if I'm positively contributing to society by being a quote unquote influencer or content creator. I'm not saying my content isn't positive, but I don't want people to be glued to their medias. And I think that's where I'm struggling the most. So yeah, just thought I'd pop on here and tell you the gist of this whole video, what I've been feeling and really what I plan to do. So I hope it's okay. Thank you for listening to me. I won't sneak it in here. Uh, and yeah, I just, I appreciate all of you. So I'm going to eat some dinner myself and then I will catch up with you towards the end of the night. Hey, I am editing right now, hence my glasses look, but I forgot to show you uh, the hair, the end result. All I did was take my fingers and do this and then it stays pretty good for the week. If it gets, I don't know, a little iffy, then I just sprinkle some cornstarch in there mixed with like a tad of cocoa powder and that seems to be the shade, I guess, of my hair. I'm naturally like a dirty blonde, so when we do highlights, we just do it in the front here, and then I use purple shampoo so it doesn't get too red. I uh, have a little bit of Irish in me, so a lot of women in my family have um, like a reddish tinge to their hair, but I wanted to finish up the vlog. I totally forgot to finish. The kids got to bed. We read a ton of books and the night just got away from me. So yeah, watching the footage back. I appreciate you all listening to my very chatty videos recently. I know a lot of you follow me on both channels. So yes, thank you for sitting through that. Um, and you know, I feel pretty open being able to say it here, but my husband's schedule switches uh, often and um, a, lot, a lot of the times I could go like weeks without speaking to an adult face to face. I call my mom every day. I'm sure she's annoyed, but I still talk to her every day. I try and talk to my dad every day. Um, you know, my sister and I are close, but she's a doctor, so she, she has uh, an important job, you know, and I, I don't know. I... I find myself very isolated here and I've spoke on that before so when that happens when I get those overwhelming feelings of isolation uh, I turn to someone to talk to and lucky for me that is YouTube I didn't really grow up with YouTube I kind of found it again like five years ago and it really just was an outlet for me and then I started getting close with a lot of you and I really do consider us friends that may seem silly to you but it's nice to check in with all of you and I just, um, I feel safe here and I feel comfortable chatting with you. So I do appreciate you. Um, I don't want any of what I said to come off as like whiny or, uh, I guess me being ungrateful. Um, I'm not that I'm just, um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I'm at that impatient phase where I just want to head back. I want my children to be making memories with my nieces and nephews and, you know, with my family. And uh, I guess I was on a roll there with creating content and then I just got some negativity, which is really hard for me to shake off. I've been told for years to shake it off and it's just challenging. So I'm really working on that, but talking to you all about it is, you know, it's helpful, you know, and I, I read your comments and they're so positive and just sweet and yeah, you just mean a lot to me. So thank you all for being here. I uh, appreciate you. Let me know what you want to see. If you like day in the life videos like this, of course, I won't be as chatty in all of the videos. Uh, if you like the cleaning motivation, let me know because I'm cleaning all the time. That's an easy thing to do. Uh, I'm typically cleaning the same things though. So I don't want you to get bored of that. Uh, if you like the channel, how it is, that's great because I like uploading here. Um, and yeah, if you want to check out the other channel, you totally can, but it's just a little bit uh, different than this one. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. I have my magnesium and water just sipping on that. And I think I'm going to call it a night after I edit this. So thank you for being here. I will catch you on the next one. Bye everyone.